What's going on guys? Jessica here. You guys know me as Resales Ride. Today we're going to do an order pool video. We haven't done one in quite some time, but Zena and I are prepping to go to the Planes to Profit event this coming weekend. Um, it is Tuesday, the day after, was it President's Day yesterday? Um, so we've got a few orders to pull. We've got 12 orders going out. Um, went and got my hair cut this morning because like I said, we're going to Planes to Profit. So trying to hurry up and get a bunch of errands done before we leave on Thursday. But um, yeah, so we've got 12 orders to get out. I've got to get them packed, get them uh, to the post office. And I also got to go wash and vacuum the car. Oh, what else have I done today? Like you guys care. I went and got my hair cut and then I dropped off at Goodwill. Um, yeah, lots going on. I feel like frantic almost, but um, anyway, let's get to these orders. That way I can get moving and get on with my day. All right, so heck of an introduction, right? Y'all, oh, look at that mess behind me. Woo, death pile is out of control, y'all. Uh, we got 12 items, uh, nothing major, no huge, like, big sales today, but bread and butter stuff. Um, things that we've had listed for a very long time are going out the door, so can't complain on that. But our first item is a car part. If you guys remember a while back, um, we went to an estate sale and there was a box filled with new old stock car parts and I bought it. I think I paid 10 bucks for the box and we've slowly been selling through them. We've probably sold maybe half of them so far, but this is another one. It is over here in the parts tote because we didn't know what the heck else to call it. It's this tiny little tote right here. Um, and as you can see, it's got a bunch of car parts in it. And our last two hoses, we've been selling those. All right, that's the last two we have left, so one one lot left and that's it those will be done with um so we're looking for an expansion plug which i see one back here but there's one number one and number two so i listed them separately because the package condition's a little different here's number one just a basic plug a hole kind of thing um this sold for five dollars so not huge but easy quick listing um we are like i said a lot of the orders today are lower dollar items we are no longer picking up lower dollar items unless they are like a two minutes to list it max. I mean, it's got to be a quick, quick listing and something that sells really well. So we're doing our best to only pick up items that sell for $15 to $20 or more because, God, the death pile is just so bad. And we just moved our storage unit to a cheaper one that's close by. And man, the amount of good stuff that we have in there that is just sitting because we have so much at home in the garage... It's out of control, y'all. We got to get it under control. So uh, let's see. Our next item is a wall mount for a Wi-Fi system, a mesh Wi-Fi system. And it's in J2 down here at the bottom. Let's see, J2. And this is, I've got a couple of different ones. Whoops. So we got these three boxes here. These, these I think, are the ones that have three in them. Yeah, so those have three each. So it's got to be this one. So this is something that I bought at the Amazon bin store well over a year ago, and they've been sitting forever. I got them on 50 cent, uh, 50 cent day, which is like the last day that they do there. And they've been hanging around in the store forever, it seems like. I actually just sold one recently, so maybe that boosted, and that's why this one sold also. Sold for a whole $8, so 50 cents and $8. <sighs> not horrible, but not worth my time, guys. Not worth my time. I gotta quit buying stuff like this. Our next item is something that I actually already pulled because it was in my eBay office. Um, and I've already put it here in my handy eBay bag. This copy, hardback copy of Wonder Woman. Let me turn so you guys get better lighting on it. There we go. Hardback copy of Wonder Woman. This was in Xena's office for a really long time. She had a whole stack of stuff like this and decided to list it recently. And we've been doing all right with it. What did this one sell for? I must have sent an offer on it. It sold for $11.70, which is a really weird price for us, but I must have sent out an offer, but $11.70, better than sitting in Zena's office forever. All right, our next item is in SM18, which SM for small. So here we have all of our little bins that we, we've added some recently. We've got the TY for tiny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is how this goes. Um, we're looking for SM18. Let's see. That's going to be in this one. We're looking for Cyborg. He's a little bitty dude down in here. There he is. Look how small that is. Teeny tiny 
This little tiny cyborg figure sold for $7.65. Okay, and up next is one of our camel items. We actually uh, finally got all of the t-shirts and all the shorts listed recently. Um, you guys saw, I think in the one of the last videos, you got to see that haul. Um, it was pretty fun. Almost lost my eyebrows in that one. Lighting one of those really old lighters. Man, that thing let out a poof. It made a like audible sound when it happened. Um, and we all got a good laugh out of it, but... Um, so I sold a pair of the shorts. We actually sold a pair of shorts already. Um, the day that I listed all three pairs, one sold within like 30 minutes and we were both blown away. And uh, Zena said, are you sure you didn't price those too low? And I said, I priced them all a dollar under the going rate or the average sell rate. So, or sell, sale price. Struggling y'all. But, um, I listed them at $18 a piece, except for this pair. This pair I listed for 17, which is what it sold for. Um, I did because it has a little mark on it. I guess some moisture or something got through the box that it was in and left a little mark on it, but still they're new old stock. So just with a flaw, but sold for $17. And then we also sold, I'll go ahead and skip on to the other one. Cause I've got it right here. Also, I hadn't even put these away yet. Y'all, um, number three, this one is Perfect, no flaws or anything. This one sold for $18. All right, and up next, ironically enough, in a row, we've got three items in a row that are all Thomas and Friends. We've got a couple of engines to pull and then one that is a two motorized and one non-motorized. And those are gonna be in the small drawers also. So in SM11, we are looking for Trackmaster Thomas the train. I just listed a ton of trains. You guys can see this, look. There's a whole drawer full, whole drawer full. Nothing in that drawer. Ooh, I need to get working. Um, and then we have some in a tote over that way as well. So listed a lot and they're they're selling. So SM11 number one, it's a Thomas. It looks like this one right here. So these two are I they're they're the same same train but different conditions. So listed separately. Number one, Thomas, that one sold for eleven dollars. And then where's our next one? SM. 10. In this drawer, we're looking for Gordon with, that's got to be this one, Gordon with his coal tender. And this is another uh, battery, or no, this one's a wooden one, actually. That's not a battery op. So that first one was battery operated. This one is just a wooden one with the magnets. That sold for $15. Not bad. And our next train, oh, it's in the same drawer, SM10. We're looking for this one right here. GWR, I'm not sure. You guys may know what that stands for. I do not. And this one's name is Duck. This is another magnetic wooden car. That one sold for $10. Three more orders to pull. So we've got our next item I actually pre-pulled. It was in Xena's office. We keep all of our video games in Xena's office and we sold, I've already got it in the eBay bag here, this copy of Alien Syndrome. Um, as you'll see on the comp on the screen, this sold for $4.94. And you'll see that background is blue. That's how I know this has been in my store. It was actually originally in my Mercari store way back like three years ago when I first started. It's been in there that long. So I transferred it over to eBay and it finally sold for under $5. So if you see this game, it is not very valuable. It's better for bundling. Don't try to sell it on its own. It's not worth your time. So our next item is a hat in HB6, which is this one right here. Gosh, what a mess. We're looking for a Titleist hat. We had like, you guys saw, if you guys watched Xena's how to clean, how we clean hats video, you saw us actually clean this hat and there's two, it looks like there's two white hats in here. It's gotta be one of these. Looking for, ah, oh, this one right here. Orange Titleist. This is actually the one from the thumbnail. Um, it's still got a couple little spots. There's a little black spot right there and there's a couple on the back, but this hat looks incredible compared to what it did before she cleaned it. You guys can see how bright white it is now. And it's got the little, uh, what's his name? Pistol Pete on the side there for OSU. So pretty cool hat. That one sold for $9. Uh, $9, not too bad considering we bought this at the bins and it was in horrific condition. Xena spent a little time on it and you know, we paid probably 25, 30 cents for it at the bins by weight. So changing that over to nine bucks, not, not a great profit, but still, Bre good bread and butter items. We can list these very quickly aside from the cleaning part. So really happy with that sale. And last but not least is another item that I've didn't pull already, but it hasn't even been put away yet. It's a piece of clothing, something else that we got at the bins. It is 
Let me grab it. It's right here. This Columbia jacket. It's like a fleece lined Columbia, like, um, I think it's water resistant on the outside and all that. We found this on our last trip to the bins recently. Um, Zena spotted it. We were standing in line to check out in a huge long line for a while and everybody just kept passing it over. It was just kind of laid out on the top. We even joked about what if this was actually someone's jacket and they laid it down and forgot it. But nobody said anything to us. It was just lying there. There was nobody like by it, or even remotely close to it, other than the people in line waiting to check out. So we grabbed it and I listed it just a few days ago and it's already sold. Um, I did send out an offer on it though because it sold for, what is it? It sold for $20.70, so I must have sent on an offer, but it's a men's small, which can be a hard sale, which is why I decided to go ahead and send out an offer and uh, just get it moved, but it moved really fast, under a week. So if you see these nice Columbia jackets, pick them up. So that's it, guys. 12 orders going out the door today. Got a bunch of errands to go finish running. Um, yeah, not amazing sales, but this is what it's like. This is an average sales weekend for us. I mean... But I mean, of course, this is actually only Saturday afternoon, evening, Sunday, and then Monday. My eBay sales have slowed down a little bit, even though I've been listing clothing like crazy. Um, it just seems like they've slowed down some. I think that people have spent all of their Christmas money maybe, and now they're waiting on their tax returns. So I'm ready for those tax return sales to start flowing in. It's normally a pretty good time of year for us, a good bounce back from the holidays. I feel like the last couple of years we've had a little, or I have had a little lull in that uh, end of January, beginning of February time. So uh, pretty sure it's going to pick back up. So if you guys are having slow sales, keep your head up. It's just part of it. It's going to happen. Um, just be prepared for those kind of things. But anyway, enough rambling, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me this long. If you would like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.